Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for October 2023. My name is Ona Christie, visionary artist and soul oracle. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing two spirit messages that came through for me uh, about the energies of October 2023, just to help us through this month and to maybe shed a little light on energetically what we can expect. So the first one is simply a message from the Akash. I just tuned into my higher guidance and asked about the energies of October 2023. So here is that message. There is an aspect to reality in October 2023 that will be like stepping into the dream world. The gateway to the fourth dimension will be wide open. This may feel disorienting or confusing, especially for those who didn't see it coming and or for those incapable or unwilling to take a higher perspective. No matter how things appear, there is a faultless logic that underlies everything that happens on this planet. Nothing is in vain. Nothing is inconsequential. Your smallest choice makes a difference. And so what this really reminded me of was I recently did a video um, about uh, B energy and just introducing the, the B Sisterhood Oracle deck, which is on Kickstarter right now. Um, but I had done a little reading, a three card reading that there are past, present and future. And the present card was the card called Smoker. OK, and it refers to this um, tool that a beekeeper uses to uh, inject smoke into the hive to sedate the bees so that they can so that the beekeeper can can do their work okay and um then we also have a spirit animal coming forward this month that also has that aspect of a uh, kind of clouding the vision okay and that animal is octopus i just released a whole video on octopus spirit meaning um but the octopus, as you're probably aware, will shoot a cloud of ink out of itself in order to confuse its enemies and get away, okay? So right away, I'm looking at, you know, there's, especially with this Akashic message coming forward, talking about um, at the time that might be like the dream world or disorienting or confusing, um, there there may be things happening, whether in your personal life or in the greater arena of the world that that seem just really crazy. I, I you know, and I can't really predict this. Uh, all I'm doing is sharing, you know, the impressions that I've received from spirit. So this could be something that really comes forward in a big way in October, or it could be that the seeds are planted for this in this coming month um but it's something that we i feel um it, it it'll be good to be aware of this possibility um as light workers as awakened beings as people who are at least somewhat comfortable working with the dream world it may be um for us, it's going to be a different experience than um, others may experience it at, okay, as, okay? Um, and so I see this as a time of that may be challenging, but it also could be a time of tremendous opportunity. So, um, so here's where I want to share the message that comes from Octopus, okay? Because when I, I I've been doing an, a spirit animal of the month and I write that all up for the edge magazine so watch for that it's not published yet but i'll put the link to that in this description box as soon as it is published um so there's a whole write-up on octopus for october i do want to share the message that came through because it sounds like octopus is giving us some clues as to how to navigate this month okay and here's the message from octopus in the vastness of the ocean few things ever appear on the surface all is not as it seems. This is your invitation to explore. Enter the Hall of Mirrors. Feel into the depths. It is a world to itself down here. Discover, release, discard. Be open to changes of mind. Be open to changes of heart. Change your abode if you so desire. Do you wish to deepen your understanding? Allow your perspective to shift and change, and your understanding will follow. 
So I, I'm seeing this time as really, uh, um, it could be a, just a fantastic time to really just um, renew ourselves, right? To reinvent ourselves. And it's really going to be calling for having an open mind, but also being grounded. Okay, so these two things. Um, and so there's one more power animal that came forward as a support before I even tuned into the um, the higher guidance. I was directed towards the Blue Eagle glyph in the galactic calendar. And the keywords for the Blue Eagle are create vision and mind. And I'm going to add two more keywords here based on all the messages that have come forward, and that is perspective and choice. And from the galactic calendar, there's a little passage about Blue Eagle. And this sentence jumped out at me. It, it says, bring your perspective from the highest, most all-encompassing viewpoint possible, okay? So as we move into these energies, and they feel to me like um, it, the positive polarity of these energies is really playful, okay? It's really moving and flowing and shifting. It's going to require adaptability. It's going to require all the positive traits of octopus, right? Curiosity playfulness and um, just the willingness to be open and explore okay and there could be so many opportunities that come forward for you in um in october 2023 as long as you're keeping in this kind of spirit of play this open-mindedness and and willingness to go with the flow the negative polarity of of this energy is going to be really obscuring or um kind of the idea of the wool being pulled over people's eyes, um, illusion or manipulation, trickery, um, kind of uh, cheap mag magic, right? When you think of the kind of illusion trickery of a stage magician, right? <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, theatrical energy around October. So remember also, we're going to be heading towards uh, Sam Wayne, um, the Halloween, that 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 time of the year when the veil is really thin anyway, and it feels to me like it's going to be thinner than usual. <laughs> so there, they could just could be a really interesting time, and the encouragement is to really keep the higher perspective, right? Of um, spirit has a plan, right? Whether you believe in God. Or creator or your higher self remember that akashic message there is a faultless logic that underlines everything that happens on the planet and your smallest choice makes a difference okay so there's a a, a really big invitation to feel into your own truth what's true for you what feels good and feel into the vibration of your own body you're going to feel um, every choice that you're given or every opportunity that's shown to you, um, you're going to, your body's going to resonate one way or the other. It's going to tell you at some, in some way, at some level, your body can tell you if this is a good choice, if this is going to lead you onto your higher path, um, if it's in alignment with your soul purpose, or if it's not, okay? And if it's not, that could bring you into some kind of really jarring kind of um, energies. And if you're feeling that kind of jarringness, just come back to center, okay? And I'm going to leave you with one little tip from my acupuncturist. I, I went in this week and um, we were talking about meditation. And he said that most people, I told him that I was often meditating at the third eye or the heart. And he said, well, yeah, a lot of people do that. But it's really easy these days to get ungrounded. And um, he said, when you start to meditate at the navel point and even breathe in and out of the navel, that's what can help you bring back to your original energy. All right. So if you're feeling ungrounded at all, give some love to your navel and um, you can anchor yourself right through the navel. It's it's a, an anchor point to the universe that is going to help you to stay in your truth this month, right? So have a wonderful, wonderful October. And remember, you were born to be free.